a battle I ride Blazing up to the sky Chains of fate Hold a fiery stride I see you again when I die. Huh, huh, huh. Feed this one here out for you, cousin. Look. Put a limit to the BS and give me some space. Will they recognize the GME when I'm in the place? I get mad and deliberately. Speak no face. Trample on snakes. I ain't no pretty boy, Woody. I'm a felony case. on snakes. For weeks, questions have circled about Elisa Lamb after the Vancouver woman went missing in Los Angeles last month. Yesterday, police found her body in a hotel water tank. Also, the only way to be found the naked body of a woman in her 20s at the bottom of one of the tanks. And the water for first two seconds or three seconds would co was coming black. And then after a while, we would drink it. The LAPD coroner's office tells us that her cause of death is deferred. And it could take to two months to figure it out. The last footage of her in the hotel elevator is perplexing. Why did she press all the buttons? Was she talking to someone? Was she trying to hide? The Cecil Hotel is best known for its infamy. Founded in the 1920s, the hotel sits in downtown Los Angeles, just a stone's throw from Skid Row. The 21 year old's death, just the latest mystery for a hotel with a haunted past. Elisa Lamb was a 21-year-old student from Canada visiting Los Angeles, California in early 2013. Unfortunately, the hotel Elisa chose to stay at, the Hotel Cecil, was a place notorious for sinister happenings. A number of terrible things have occurred within its walls, from thefts to suicides to murders. The Hotel Cecil was perhaps best known for being the residence of two prolific serial killers, Jack Unterweger and Richard Ramirez, the infamous Night Stalker. One of the most haunting details of Elisa's final moments involved an elevator and were caught on security footage. Elisa can be seen stepping onto the elevator and pressing all of the buttons for an unknown reason. The elevator doors, however, refuse to close. Elisa cautiously steps to the elevator doors and darts her head out as if she were expecting someone to be out there, possibly even looking for her. Her movements are quick, like she doesn't wish to be caught. She ends up pressing herself into the corner of the elevator in what looks like an attempt to hide from an unseen presence. The elevator doors still malfunctioned and refused to close, so she stepped out from the elevator in a series of odd movements. Some time passes and she steps back into the elevator, appearing distressed, only to try again, pressing all of the buttons. What happens next is most chilling, as the doors yet again refuse to close, and Elisa emerges into the hallway and begins moving in a disturbing manner. She moves out of the camera's view and doesn't return. 30 seconds later, the elevator doors finally close and it moves freely from floor to floor. Disturbing, yes, but it's not over yet. Two weeks later, residents of the Hotel Cecil complained to management that the water was discolored and that it smelled and tasted funny. When the water tanks on the roof were inspected to discover the cause, Elisa Lamb's body was found dead and bloated inside. It was determined that she had ended up inside the tank only moments after she stepped out of the elevator. The problem was that the roof was nearly impossible to access as it was blocked Who's behind two locked, thing? alarmed doors that Elisa somehow passed through undetected. Run, Even if she had thing. done it herself, Climbing the water tanks, opening one, and then closing it behind her would have been even more difficult. Despite this, investigators ruled her death
accidental, chilling, disturbing, and still not over yet. A movie named Dark Water depicts a mother and daughter who move into a slummy apartment where the water begins to run black. The daughter's name is Cecilia, close to Hotel Cecil, and the water's dark color is the result of a dead body up in the roof's water tank. At the end of the movie, the elevator even malfunctions. The movie was released eight years before Elisa Lamb's death. An eerie parallel indeed, however, still not over. An outbreak of tuberculosis erupted in the same location as where Elisa's body was found within the same time frame. The testing kit used for tuberculosis is known as the Lamb Elisa test. Elisa's first and last name switched, spelled exactly the same. Elisa's autopsy revealed that drugs played no role in her death, and though she did have bipolar disorder, her strange behavior and the details surrounding her death have yet to be explained. Trample on snakes. I'm gonna spit in your face all day long. You're a cruel device Your blood's like ice One look could kill My pain's your thrill I wanna love you, I'd better not touch I wanna hold you, my senses tell me to stop Wanna kiss you, want it too much I wanna taste you, your lips are venomous poison Running through my veins Your mouth, so hot Your web, I'm caught your skin, so wet, black lace and sweat. I hear you calling, it's needles and pain and pain. I wanna hurt you to hear you scream my I name. Trample on I snakes. wanna touch you, you're under my skin deep. In. I wanna taste you, your lips are venomous poison. Running through my veins. Don't wanna break these chains. I wanna break these chains. These chains, these chains, these chains. I wanna love you, I'd better not touch. I wanna hold you, my senses tell me to stop. I wanna kiss you, I want it too much. I wanna taste you. I want to taste you, I want to love you, I'd better not touch, I want to hold you, my senses tell me to stop, I want to kiss you, want it too much, I want to taste you, your lips are venomous poison, running through my veins. I want to break these chains, I want to break these chains. One love could kill 
my pains are through. I wanna break these chains. One love could kill my an independent candidate for mayor of the German city of Cologne, who's supported by Chancellor Angela Merkel's CDU party, has been stabbed by a man while campaigning in the city. Henrietta Recker and an aide were seriously injured. Mrs. Recker is in a critical condition. Three other people were injured when they intervened to help. Police say they arrested a 44-year-old man who said he was motivated by Recker's support for refugees. Recker is also backed by the FDP and Greens and has been involved in supporting and helping house refugees in the city. The election takes place on Sunday. Huh, huh, huh. Feed this one here out for you, cousin. Look. Put a limit to the BS and give me some space. Well, they recognize the GME when I'm in the place. I get mad and deliberately. Speak your face. Trample on snakes. Battle I ride Blazing up to the sky Trample on snakes Chains of fate Hold a fiery stride I see you again when I die Too long in the midnight sun.